I am going to use this Town Hall 15 troll base in Champions League with over 40 million loot available. Since the update just got released with a new mono lit and spill tower, then the result was absolutely hilarious because no one knew how to attack them. First of all a troll base had to be built and as we know Town Hall 15 just recently arrived which caused a massive grief both for YouTubers as they have to empty their pockets to purchase gems in order to stay irrelevant but also for the builders since it was time for them to cancel their Bora Bora vacation and get back to work. Because of that I wanted to give my part and relieve their pain by designing a 3D troll base inspired by the level 10 clan castle which turned out pretty epic. Will anyone be able to beat it? Grab some pickles and a cup of tea because we are about to find out. William Shakespeare once wrote, A fool thinks himself to be wise, but a wise man subscribes to Jace's YouTube channel for extra IQ. Yes guys almost 90% of you have not claimed your plus 5 IQ while others are already enjoying the result of being an intellectual. So smack that subscribe button it's 100% free. Before we fly into the action some final preparations had to be done. First of all since I am quite generous person then I wanted to leave few gifts for the visitors inside the clan castle so I invited over the electro mommy with 18 kids. Then it was time to remove the shield and log out but then I noticed that some of my heroes are half naked. Since we have mommy with kids in the clan castle then it was my responsibility to buy the heroes some proper clothes. After they had tied their hair blonde and dressed up nicely it was finally time to wait for our first visitor. Few seconds after logging off there was already somebody attacking my base with 100 thieves. One down 99 left to go my base was standing strong as expected until he started deploying more of those greedy green guys with Santa bags. Since the collectors were sitting right outside the castle then these were an easy prey for my guy whose name I simply don't know how to read. After donating some resources to my visitor he still didn't wanna leave but thought he would drink up all of the black coffee instead which made the little kids cry so that electro mommy woke up and started knocking out those greedy green guys. Not only did they drink all of the black coffee but also all of the strawberry smoothie and next up they went after the rupees. While the poison tower was being absolutely useless Builder Bob was having a panic attack due to the kindergarten kids crying in front of his house door but soon they left and so did all the loot from my storages. That was a loss I didn't expect to get with the first defense even though I knew that sneaky goblins still exist in the game and they are extremely OP with almost no counterplay. It was huge financial loss to my village that I was not going to easily recover from any time soon but since I rarely give up then I decided to offer sneaky goblins their own medicine by turning my storages invisible. I moved the invisibility tower inside the core so it covers several storages and it was time for more visitors. Surprise surprise can you guess what army does my next visitor use? Yes. The exact same army as the previous one but no need to worry, I turned the useless poison tower into the invisibility tower that is going to hide all of my loot from the 100 thieves. After the greedy green guys were absolutely clueless where did the loot disappear I quickly sent that builder bob to fix the coffee cup. Unfortunately though the invisibility effect lasted for a few milliseconds only and already the 100 thieves were all over the place causing me even more financial crisis. After two consecutive losses by the exact same army I knew something has to be done. All because of the sneaky goblins existence in this world I decided to completely rework the placement of the buildings. I had to forget about the black hole bases and design something more clever so that goblins can't simply come and take my coffee. For that reason I had to create some distance by placing the storages more further down. After some final touches it was time to save the changes and log out once again. Yes guys after two losses we finally got a W which means that the redesign of the castle is a great success as we can see from the high IQ deployment right here. Lue picked a very good spot to spawn troops from as the great chocolate smell is coming from down below but for some reason the bluebirds don't like the tasty cakes that much so they decided to fly into those black and red balloons instead. Due to the highly strategical placement of the invisibility tower two birds flew to the right instead of left which for once served the purpose of protecting my loot from the visitors. Once few last birds were about to migrate I sent builders bob and pill to fix the mono lit for our future visitors. Since the base was finally defending 300 IQ excursions I thought I would deserve to make a quick nap. 
While sleeping I saw a pretty terrible nightmare where my base got absolutely wrecked over and over again until I woke up. But it turned out not to be a nightmare, but a reality. I was so sad that I had to call my good friend Ben to boost my self confidence. Hey Ben. Am I bad at base building? Yes. What? Are you kidding me? No. Yo I am not accepting this kind of violation. I will try one more time and I am going to build the best 3D troll base. In order to do that I locked myself into my room for many days and nights to go as deep into base building strategy as I can and I came out with this. You may be saying, but Jaso, it looks exactly the same as before. No, it's not. After modifying the castle layout for the 57th time it was finally ready to open the doors for the new visitors and here we have Mr. Damien with a collection of almost every possible dragon in the game attempting to worsen my financial situation by destroying the storages but little did he know that yo boy Jaso has prepared for every kind of air visitor with some friendly kamikaze drones. Not only that but the visitors were also offered a bottle of Fanta that was thrown down from the top of the castle on those dragons and balloons that definitely liked it as they slowed down to take their time to enjoy it. Since Mr. Damien is certainly a generous person then he also thought he would offer that soft drink to some of his bats by allowing them to fly through it but it turned out that they were slightly allergic to excessive amounts of sugar and due to that they died in matter of milliseconds. Meanwhile dragons were exploring the right side of the castle a BK with his companions were admiring the left side facade up until they got greeted by your highness who quite didn't like that the young lady was walking with a dog in her front yard. Since the BK got charmed by the way the queen so elegantly shot those arrows he quickly ran to talk with her highness but she already had her king in the castle so the twin turbo balloon was brought over to solve the arguments. At the same time a half naked old man was desperately looking around the castle for a toilet where he could empty his full bladder but all he could find was my strawberry smoothie container. In general Mr. Damien and his visitors were pretty polite and left without causing too much trouble, but not all visitors are that polite. Instead of taking pictures of the castle from the outside which by the way is completely free there was this lumberjack swinging with his axe attempting to get inside the castle without buying a ticket but clearly he did not know that in this world there is no free excursion so I had to turn the heating all the way to the maximum in order to melt his axe and put him to sleep. He was still not done yet as he sent in his little angry friends and even tried to cause an earthquake at my main tower but nothing major happened because the builders were immediately there to repair everything. Most visitors that came over were smart enough to admire the front side of the castle which is a lot more entertaining but there was one person who liked the backside. First of all it was just his queen walking around with bunch of fairies but soon some heavy machinery arrived to break into the castle that was a strong violation in my eyes so for the first time I had to activate the ultra strong brand new technology built into the town hall that was so scary that the intruder tried to bring winter up from the sky but the new town hall was way too hot for that. Then another person came to walk his dog around my base which of course is strongly penalized so without further notice he got thrown tickets for misconduct towards him. But the old man was not planning to obey the law so he sent his dog to munch down the little officers. Soon after the dog finished his dinner he was taken down and so were rest of the visitors. Anyway if you enjoyed the video then here is a secret playlist with many funny videos similar to this. Have a lovely day.